Welcome to today's chat. This is Dwayne Vermeulen. And this is Rory Sutherland. <laughs> Stop laughing. You're always laughing. Come on, man. So look at me. <laughs> hey. So how are you? <laughs> I'm very well, thanks. How are oh, you? That's a, yeah, fantastic, thank you. So you uh, were in the Six Nations camp, how was it? Really enjoyed it. I was a bit disappointed that uh, I only got to make one appearance against Italy. Really enjoyable camp, it's a good place to be. Coaches are uh, very good, it's a good player between the, the coaches and the players. Um, get along with everyone really well and like being over here has been tough away for the family but being back in Scotland, the Orium camp's only about half an hour away from home. So I get to duck back and forward between camp and get to see Tammy and the kids. So yeah, nice, yeah, really enjoyed it. You guys actually did pretty well in there. Like, yeah. At yeah, a stage was... I actually thought you guys were, you know, going for that for that grand slam. So Yeah. No, we we did as well. I think the past three years when we've beaten England in the first game, didn't make the second hurdle, obviously the past couple of years against uh, Wales, but yeah, this year we thought it was maybe our time. Fell short against Ireland and France, so. Uh, but no, like you say, we're we're making big improvements and it's a good place to be. We're making good uh, good progress towards the World Cup. Starts quite early for us this year. We we sort of begin end of May, beginning of June time. We come together again and uh, we start our pre-season camp. So looking forward to it. Nice man. Um, so you've joined Ulster in October, and um, yeah, how's your time been thus far? I've enjoyed it. It's obviously unforeseen circumstances how I ended up here, but uh, landed on my feet and come to a good club. And like I said before, I've I've felt really welcomed by the boys and the coaching staff and uh, I've enjoyed my time here so far. And you landed a good roommate. And I landed a good roommate. Oh yes. Yeah. yeah. Oh. oh. Lancer away. Yes we are. At the Viva. Yeah, really looking forward to, to this weekend. Um, Aviva was where I got my first cap for Scotland. And oh, once nice. I come back from my big injury, I got capped again for Scotland at the Aviva, so a lot of history there for me. Um, really cool stadium to play at, so looking forward to it. So prep's going well this week. How have you, uh, how have you felt yourself? Yeah, tough couple of days. Um, you know, Monday, easy going, um, especially after our encounter against the Bulls. Uh, I think it was a, yeah. a tough game for us, um, really physical, and um, so Took it easy on Monday, but obviously Tuesday uh, and Wednesday training was uh, was pretty tough on the body. Mm. Um, yeah, and hopefully we've just got captain captain's run left, and uh, and then after that's the game. So um, looking looking ahead to the weekend, I think the boys are, are pumped up. Uh, you know, it's a it's a, it's a derby game, and it's yeah. a big game for for Ulster. So yeah, we I think the guys are are ready. Yeah. I watched the game against the Bulls. Dan was kind enough to give me the, the week off that week. So, uh, yeah, look forward to, to this weekend off the back of a, of a good win last weekend against a, a big side. Good prep as well for what's to come this weekend in the forwards. Mm. Like last week was a big test for the pack. So it was good preparation for us looking ahead to this weekend. Yeah, I gotta say, um, they've got, uh, a lot of their the guys play uh, play for Ireland, and they've got yeah. a, you know, they're the, the um, Grand Slam champions. So um, you know, a lot of a lot of those guys work together. So I think um, you know they know each other really well. Yeah. And uh, you know, if you play for for club and country together, you know, there's a there's a big cohesion, and you're yeah. in sync. A well gelled. So, yeah. Well so I think it will be it'll be it'll be tough for us, but. Uh, yeah, we're always looking forward to, to a good challenge. No, we've had a, we've had a good week's prep. Mm. Ready to go, ready to go down there and do a job. Looking forward to Friday now, day off tomorrow, and then bust down to Dublin. And, and then, then captains, captains run at the, at the Aviva. Yeah. Just do the sort of fine adjustments and get everything, do get you everything have a, ready to go. Do you have a, like a routine on game day in the morning? 
like when you wake up, what do you, what do you do? Is there a specific routine or do you just? None. The only thing I like to do before a game, I like to make sure that I've packed the same undershirt. I've had the same undershorts for about 10 years now. That's the only sort of thing I do before a game is make sure I've got the, the right undershorts. Everything else sort of takes care of its takes care of itself. You? No. No. Try to sleep in as long as I can. Yeah. Um, it's difficult if you can only sleep for five hours. I know what that's like. Yeah. Yeah. And then um, get up, drink coffee, drink coffee. Yeah. And have more coffee. And then yeah, we get into. Oh, pre-match, and then it's team meeting, and then I get to get to the field. So, um, any superstitions on your side? Nah, it's well, it's hard to have it because if you have if you have too much of a routine, then it's sort of you, you're, you, there's too many sort of away games, too many different places, different hotels, different times, like the kickoff is. So mm. it's hard to it's hard to kind of have superstitions and. Go, you know what I mean? Have too have too much of a, a heavy routine. If you rely on something too much, you might not get it yeah. in another place. You know what I mean? Or well, your focus is on something else. Yeah. yeah. This weekend there's fifty thousand tickets sold. Does that make you any more nervous? No. Playing against more people. No. no I, I, like, I I, I kind of like it more. Yeah. I kind of like it more. It was weird after COVID. Oh, geez. making that yeah. making that sort of. Transition again from playing in front of no one to playing again, like mm. playing in front of full stadiums again. Mm. Mm. But no, I wouldn't say it changes it changes anything, does it? No, not at all. Usually when the ref blows his whistle for kickoff, that's me like nerves gone. That's in it started. Zone. Yeah, in the mm. zone, ready to go. You? Actually, I had a good chat with uh, some guys who retired uh, well, a couple of years ago, and they said. I, asked, I actually asked them the question, uh, do you still get nervous when, well, uh, late in their career? And they said yes, because if you don't get nervous, then you don't care anymore. And then you can actually just retire. So, yeah, I do get it. Yeah, well, once, you, once I run out and you, and you soak everything in that's around you, I, but then I get excited and yeah. then I just want get, to get going. So I, I actually, I like it. So, you know, going into a European game, is your, is your prep different than, you know, playing URC or is it...? No. No different, whether it's... Uh, or test UR, matches? No, or... URC game, test match, um, European, it's all the same. Prepare the same way for your game. It's only another game of rugby. Got you. <laughs> I agree. Agree. <laughs> Thanks very much for joining us today for our chat um, ahead of the, the game against Leinster this weekend. We hope to see you down supporting us. Cheers. Cut!